days, all days. Been a road, been a road. Yeah. All right, man. It's a special joint. I know y'all hear me use that word special a lot, but this is a real special one, man. Um, this guy, we can say a lot of stuff about him. Your resume real, real long. You know what I'm saying? Fashion, music, movies, behind the scene, the, uh, 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 what they call the dude to make it happen. They don't put his name on it, right? Yeah. But today we're going to say your name, man, my man, Kitty Burns, What's man. up, home team? Man, thank you for coming to us today, Absolutely, man. Definitely, man. man. Definitely, Absolutely, good man. to see you, man. We know a lot of people know your story. There's some people, I guess, you know, planet Earth, they might don't know your story, right? Yeah. Off the breakaway, man, where you from? And give me a little about your childhood. I'm from Uptown, Washington, D.C., born in Columbia Hospital for Women. Oh, yeah. Man. Um, family from Southeast B Street by the Shrimp Boat. And just, you know, I'm a um, a product of, of women raising me in a 10-mile by 10-mile mm. fortress. They right, used to call yeah, D.C. a yeah, fortress. Yeah. People don't realize it's only 10 miles by 10 miles, so yeah, it was a hell of a uh, hell of a childhood to say the least. You had, you had what, your mom, was she a stern mom? Was she kind of, you know, negotiate mom? How was she? She's my sister, okay. best friend, you know what okay. I mean? Okay. Wasn't quite the, you know, I needed the father figure to match her energy, you know what right. I mean? She was the loving nurturer, you know what I'm saying? Like encouraging right. me to be all I could be, but right. didn't really discipline me, right. so. I went to the streets to get the discipline. Right, you might be actually still around. She's still living. Absolutely. Okay. Amen. Good, good, good. I so, lost my father last January. Oh, okay. So um, Kenny Burns Senior. Um, but yeah, we wasn't never really super tight, but right. loved them all the same. Right. Man, rumor have it. I'm saying I didn't witness it. Yeah. But rumor have it that you can play with that ball a little bit, man. Yeah. I mean, is that yeah. rumors? It's Lord of that. Nah, man. I mean, you know, I mean, shit. We're gonna have to let the legend be the legend, yeah, man. Yeah, I, yeah. But I did used to hoop up Wilson. Uh, okay. I think uh, my senior year, we went to the playoffs first time since right. Zaro and them did, them New right. Street guys. Right, okay. Um, so, yeah, Dave Cossum was- uh, Dave, my man, Southwest. Yeah, that's yeah. my man. Big shout out to Southwest. Right. Dirty ass Southwest. <laughs> we used to go on Southwest, because you know, they used to bust everybody to Wilson. Right, yeah, yeah. But, um, so yeah, man, I had a good run in high school, and then I got locked up my senior year, and it all went left. All right, yeah. I want to touch on you being locked up before we go, before we leave Wilson. Cause I always tell people, man, I was a spinger all the way across town. Yeah. And maybe you can contest this. I always say, man, I don't care. You can go in the whole DMV area. I had Wilson number one with the girls. You think all that's day. safe to say? Nobody's going, like, oh boy might say Roosevelt. Or right, yeah. Somebody might say Coolidge. But everybody yeah. know Wilson had all the joints. Man, that was crazy, man. Y'all yeah. had all flavors. They like 31 well, flavors I think, up there. I think in the misconception about Wilson was that, you know, all oh, it's on Wisconsin Avenue. It's, you know, all this, right. that, and the third. But... To your point, we had all the well-to-do girls, mm-hmm. black girls in the mm-hmm. city. We also had all the Southwest, because that was the, right. they went from Jeff and came over there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. but it was a balance. It was a good balance and it actually defined me. Right, and that's, that's incredible. Now I'm sitting there thinking about it. Two powerhouses in the hip hop community, yourself and Dave Mays, he went to Wilson yeah, also. Yeah, Dave, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little older. Big shout out to Dave, he, you know, Source Magazine, he has the, uh, I forgot the thing now, but he got the media company yeah, break, going. Break Beats. Break, break Beats, beats right, yeah, yeah. Doing yeah, his thing. So big shout out yeah, to Dave. Yeah, powerful. You spoke to man that you didn't have a father around and you eventually got into the streets and got some trouble. Speak on that. So my father was a hustler, man. You know, Kenny Bernstein used to be on 7T and mm-hmm. used to play that pool. You know, he was a pool hall hustler. And, um, you know, just didn't really have time for my mother and I. You know what I mean? In and out. But my mom was... You know, I think they were 10 years difference in age. So, mm-hmm. you know, she was a young and had me at 18. So we grew up together. And it was, I mean, it was beautiful. Honestly, I mean, I, I don't, you know, oh boy, my, my brother and I was just talking about how like, you look back at that and it was normal because that's the way you grew up. Right. So seeing, you know, your people's doing drugs and doing all the mm-hmm. things, you really wasn't traumatized because it was like normal. Mm-hmm. You know, you go to your partner house and catch their parents smoking that shit, you know what I mean? Whatever it was, you, it just wasn't shocking because we saw it all the time. And I was actually having this conversation the other day. You know, when I was at Wilson, City Under Siege was on, mm. was it Fox 5, yeah, Fox, I think it was? Fox, yeah. yeah, so that was almost like, you know, our celebrity moment. So when you saw a new street or you saw some dudes from Uptown, whatever, you mix you was in, you damn near wanted to be on that motherfucker. You knew if he was on it, he was going to jail, but it was almost like a badge of honor. But all that stuff was normal, man. And it, and now that we grown, we realize it's not normal. Right, exactly. And we want to like, you know, uh, kind of like push back on that. But I'm telling everybody, man, because even the stories that I'm buying into and doing on the movie and TV side, mm-hmm. 
you know, they don't glorify what we did, mm -hmm. but it put things in perspective because we did what we was taught to do. Exactly. And if I ain't hear about, you know, y'all, you know, mm -hmm. when I was in high school, I wouldn't have made the leap to try to get it too. But that leap taught me how to hustle, mm -hmm. not just drugs, but taught me how to hustle. Right. And if anybody know the real Chocolate City, you know, it wasn't, I mean, y'all air brought in the murder game, but like before that, it was a hustler's town. Right, yeah. You know, I, I called DC to drive through. Right, yeah. And, you know, people used to come here, go to Howard University, come here to get money, all types of things, you know, end up staying if they went to school here, raising their families here, meet a girl, guy from DC, go on. And so I just, I look at DC with honor. I looked at, you know, that era as an era that we really needed for discovery of self, you know what right. I'm saying? So I put a lot of respect on my city. And obviously I've been showing that over the years by coming back right. and putting it on. And representing, we're gonna get in that too, but it's funny, you, you spoke about City and the Seas and how it almost was something that we knew it wasn't, we didn't understand it 40 as a young guy, yeah. but like you say, it was crazy because I remember distinctly, you might be in a crap game, you might be in any little dispute, and you, somebody might say, you, you jump out there, you're gonna be able to sit in the seat, you're gonna yeah. run the counter. It was almost like we was infatuated by being yeah. young and they made it almost like a a, a series, it was like a, a, a TV series it was. for real, right? Basically, it was right? cops right, before right, cops right, was right, out. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Run, just running up in people's houses, like locking people up. But I think it was more about like, you know, the shock and awe culture mm -hmm. that lives today. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Like that was the first time we ever saw this. I mean, we was in it, right. but to see it on TV, you know what I mean? It was like watching a movie. Exactly. So to exactly. your point, I think it was, uh, you know, some for us one to give us a realization like, okay, right. we're going there if we want to go in there, but yeah. you know, you're going to jail if you don't sit in the seats. But at the same time, it was like, oh shit, there go Toby and them niggas. Right. Right. So yeah. I think the head, the head security dude down the Wizard, I bet the games, he still got the little hat. He was a homicide guy. He's wearing the same, all the little hats with his come on the scenes. Yeah. So you right, you wrote back a lot of memories with that right there. Oh no, I got, yeah. man, listen, man. I, I'm about to tell a DC tale, you know okay. what I mean? As okay. far as, you know, we've been talking about right. some things, but it's just, it, you know, they'll erase you if you let them. And mm -hmm. they'll, they'll erase our childhood mm -hmm. if we let them. Mm -hmm. I was just riding over here to come see you, man. Right. Riding through the city is not the same city. And then you get over the Riggs Road, Fort right. Totten area, mm -hmm. and it's the same buildings, the right. same house. I was like, finally, right. something that remind me. Right. Right. Cause yeah. that's, you know, I started over there on Hawaii Avenue. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, man, just, it ain't the same city we grew up in, man. I, it, and I feel like if we continue, you know, with all the gentrification and all the storytelling, gonna go with it. Mm -hmm. So we gotta keep, you know, keep our city's memories alive. Exactly. And um, when you got in trouble, did you do any conservation time? Did you beat the case? What happened? Nah, what, 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 what? Um, funny story, man. I, I knew never to go out Frederick, Maryland, man. Oh, yeah. I knew not to go out there. They had yeah. this John Hanson apartment. It was just so sweet. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then I was fucked with this bam ass nigga that used to mess with my girl right. back in the day. Knew I shouldn't have been fucked with this retarded right. ass nigga, man. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Fuck around, went out there. This nigga did some stupid shit and jumped and smashed his windshield. I'm out of dope. Right. So I'm like, I gotta wait. My girl that I had out there, mm. she was gone. So I'm on the strip. So right. I'm out there. Let me re up. Soon as, you know. And, um,. It was God though, you right. know what I mean? Because, right. you know, DC wasn't favorable for, for, for guys going around the city. Mm -hmm. You could drop off your ass weight and do things like that, but you couldn't go hustle where I could go anywhere in the city. Like I had love, mm -hmm. you know, um, in the city and I knew not to go out that motherfucker. Right, yeah. And I, God told me don't go out that right. motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you hear right. me? Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, that was the lesson I needed though, you know what I mean? Because it was in a drug free zone too. And that's when they was trying to throw us away forever. Right. So yeah, I got, um, you know, the ball shit, playing ball, the mm -hmm. family shit got me, you know, um, six months. Right. And then I ended up getting it down to six months of weekends. Right. But when they read that motherfucking charge, we sentenced you to 20 years. Right. My whole life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> right. But we should spend 19 and, and right. four or something, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. But you know, that, that ain't no place for no human being, man. man yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. even being in there, I think with the seven locks for like two weeks and then I, I went to the, uh, I was in Frederick County Detention Center and then went, but the whole process mm -hmm. coming in and out of there to check in even, mm -hmm. you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. it it's really like, God damn, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. know? Yeah. It's just a thing you, you've experienced. We, right. a lot of us have, right. so. And it's pretty like you say, what you say with the uh, suspended sentences, you hear that big number to talk. It remind me when they first started sentencing with the months and we was in district court and I remember a dude went for sentencing 
He's like, man, good luck to you, man. Keep your head up. He said, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to be all right. He came back down. He was like, man. He said, what they do? He said, um, man, they gave me 120 months. You know, what's his name, man? I said, 240 months. I said, he was like, he said, I'll be good. So he walked to his junk. So we doing the math on it. 240? Man, man, they, gave you, they gave you 20 years. Yeah. Right? He was just like, no, nah, they gave me. It ain't dawn on the way they worded it, right? Yeah. So it's like, yeah. So it's funny, the different times how they sentence you and how they word hey, it. But even y'all looking at it like months versus days. Right. Because I even remember like they were teaching us you got to do fair time. Yeah. Do enough to get fair time. Like what is that? Right, yeah. Like what is that? Like who, said, what, what grown men yeah, tell some young as 16, 15, <laughs> do enough to get fair time. Right, yeah. What does yeah. that mean? I mean, I get it because yeah. you want to, right, you know, but right. he wasn't getting no camps right, and yeah. things like that back then. And they, and they used to also say, Man, you if you get locked up, you want to go to Fed instead of Lord because it's gonna be a plug. You won't get a connect. So, dude, so man, I go to Fed three or four years. I can get this. This crazy thing. It was, it was, cra it was crime crazy school. Thinking. Right? Yeah, yeah. Jail yeah, was crime yeah, school, man. Right. Anybody I ever know that went away mm. back then came out right. damn near worse than going in. Cause you're right. All of you know, right. plugs was locked up with the regular. You know what I mean? Right. And it was. It was horrible, man. It's Out the park, niggas know me. Curb on, little homie. All days, all days. Yeah. Been a road, been a road. Yeah. Thank you for watching Changing Jewels on Kirkbone TV. If you like the jewels that we're dropping, subscribe, hit the notification, and share with some friends. And I'll see you on the next episode of Changing Jewels, Kirkbone TV.